welcome to my channel and welcome to my first video. You're the first one here. Take a seat, take a seat, grab your friends. Um, so today I want to talk to you about something a little scary, but not as scary as most things. Like I've been watching those murder mysteries, now that's freaking scary. It's not too bad. Now we're talking about hoarding. And I want to call this video the reformed hoarder. That's me. Raise your hand if you're a hoarder. Maybe not. I won't tell anybody. So I am a reformed hoarder. I went from being super hoarder, like crazy, not like TV, but like borderline, to like an OCD, super clean cleaner. Um, so we're going to meet somewhere in the middle. We're going to be clean, tidy. We're going to be inspired. And I'm going to teach you how and a few simple steps. Um, so let's dive right in. Boop. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is get inspired and you're already kind of doing that. I'm going to tell you to watch videos to start cleaning and that's what you're going to do next. Um, first hop on your ex-boyfriend's or dad's, I don't judge, hop on that Netflix subscription if you got your own. Get it girl, you got your own Netflix subscription. Um, hop on there and look up tidying up. Now it's features Marie Kondo and her Kamari method. That's her certain way of folding. Um, but she also goes into things like she goes into the people's house. She thanks the house. She thanks the items for being there and then tosses it back to 1995 where it belongs. Um, it's great. It's a good way to get you in the cleaning mode. Um, now next you're going to go on YouTube and I like to look up obsessive compulsive cleaners. Now that's kind of a little bit funnier way to look at it. Um, it's kind of well, it's the British version of hoarders, and we all love hoarders, and we all love everything British, so it's a great freaking combination. Um, so it's where a obsessive compulsive cleaner, somebody who's crazy OCD in their house, loves to clean, they visit a obsessive hoarder and helps them clean, tidy up, purge, get rid of things. Um, and it makes you feel good because it's like an instant gratification thing. It gets you inspired, but it also makes you feel better. Like, hey, you're not that bad. Your mess isn't as bad as these people and you're not on a British TV show. My mom taught me not everything has to be on display. You don't have to have 10 deodorants and all your collection of cosmetics and pictures all over your wall. Just, okay, you can have an inspirational quote here. You can have your favorite perfume on display and maybe like a little beauty fridge or something fun but you don't need to have every single thing on your counter. That's what we can go into organization tips later, but we're just trying to clear out first. So like I said, not everything has to be on display. It's not a store. Now, if you've still got your Netflix tab up, go back over there and search for minimalism under the documentary section. Um, there's all sorts of guys just living on basically nothing. Like they're either living out of vans or living in a very bare house with one chair, one microwave, one whatever. Um, and we're not gonna go that crazy. But they teach you, you really don't need that much to live. And most importantly, you don't need that much to be happy. And that's one thing I really took away. Now, getting away from the computer, if you're a book person or you just need to write something down, this book is great. It's called A Simplified Life by Emily Lay. That's a great place to start too because it gives you a couple little tips as her being a mom um, and organizing and purging things in her life and simplifying different sections of her life to make her happy in general. There's even a couple little worksheets in there. So if you work like that, you're more of a writer or reader, this is a perfect way for you to get inspired with your cleaning. Also, another thing to keep in mind, um, I like to ask myself as well, is all this clutter worth your sanity? Like if you saw the papers and stuff up to here, is all that craziness and all that stress and all that visual noise, is that worth your sanity? Or would it, if it went away, would you be happier? I think yes. And I feel like that's yes to every question. So ask yourself that. Is it is it worth your sanity? Like, this makes me happy. If I had a pile of junk here that doesn't make me happy and you work all day long and you're going to come home to this junk, no, I want to come home to these cute pillows. Hello? My final tip when you're trying to figure out what you need next year, when you're going through the same thing to make it easier, you may have heard this before, but I think it's a great tip. So when you have all your hangers in your closet, okay, we've cleaned everything out, we're ready to go. You can have all your hangers backwards. So at the end of the year, whatever is left backwards, you know what I'm saying, know what I mean? Whatever's left backwards, obviously I haven't worn it all year, so toss it, sell it, or most of all, I say donate. Now that we've got this pile of clothes that didn't quite make the cut, but they're still good to go and someone else might love them. Um, so we're gonna go to sell. So first off, I would go to places like Clothing Mentor first that would give you cash on the spot or maybe, maybe your local consignment store. Um, and then maybe work your way down to Plato's Closet to squeeze out the last little bit of cash. Um, after that, I would suggest selling on Poshmark. They're really easy to use. Shout out to your girl, um, sponsor me. Um, <laughs> 
No, I love Poshmark because you can sell it quick, you can ship it, they give you a shipping label and it's good to go, um, and you get your money as soon as it arrives. Now our last step in this video is to organize. Now it's super exciting now that you have all your favorite clothes, you can find a space for them. They all have to have a home. Um, and now that they have room to move, you have room to grow. Um, so I would start off at TJ Maxx and Target, things like that. Keep it cheap, get yourself a label maker, some, some maybe acrylic shoe boxes, some bins, make it fun. Get yourself a cute little pink hamper. Um, anything to make you happy in your closet and shop your closet. Um, and you can even go to Ikea, things like that. Maybe you made enough money from your yard sale and you can go to Ikea and get a custom closet. Whatever you want, you do you, girl. Maybe I'll do an organization um, for your closet video next time. So if you've stayed around this whole time, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope I've inspired you to spark joy in your life to start cleaning. Um, if you have any suggestions or any cleaning tips from you and yours, um, comment below. I'd love to hear them and we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, welcome to <laughs> Hello friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to my first video. Yoo-hoo! That was really weird. Okay, <laughs> I probably don't do that again.